everybody! I'm here today to tell you how to avoid a serious fault on the driving test. That's right, I'll be giving you a few simple, concrete, practical things that you can do to truly avoid getting a serious fault on the driving test. Now, just to clarify, in most cases, in most places, when it comes to the driving test, there are minor faults, which you are allowed to get, and you can sort of accrue a certain number of them, and then there are major faults or serious faults. And in most cases, in most places, when you get a serious fault, that's it, you're done, automatic failure. Now these serious faults or major faults are usually faults that have either caused an accident or could cause an accident or will likely cause an accident, okay? So you gotta avoid those. Now these are four simple things that you can do to really give your chance the to really give yourself the tiniest chance it's not going to give your chance it's going to give yourself the tiniest chance of avoiding them let's get right into it number one the first thing that you can do is leave plenty of space around your car that means on the sides in the front and in the back you never want to be driving too close to someone else or something else. That means having a good following distance in front of you. That means driving in the center of the lane so you get space on either side of your car. That means if someone's tailgating you really closely and you're losing space behind you, letting them pass you or kindly asking the driving test examiner if you can switch lanes because they're driving too close to your rear bumper, okay? So you wanna leave plenty of space. That is your safety cushion around the car. That's number one. Number two, the second thing that you need to do is always check your mirrors and your blind spot when you need to. Now let me explain this. Let's say you forget to signal but you check your mirrors and your blind spot. You're still gonna be able to see that there's no one in that lane and you're gonna switch lanes. You're probably gonna lose points for not signaling or get a minor fault for not signaling, but you still checked your mirrors and your blind spot and you still made the lane change safely, so you're not gonna get a major fault. You're gonna avoid a major fault, okay? Now on the other hand, let's say you remember to signal, you put your signal on, but then you don't check, you, you know, you check your mirrors, let's say, but you don't check your blind spot. You don't see that someone's there. You switch lanes, they honk their horn because you almost hit them, major fault, failure, sorry, just like that. So it's better to always remember to check your mirrors and blind spot when you need to and forget about signaling if you need to forget something. If you're gonna forget something, it's better you forget not to signal, you forget to signal, than to forget to check your mirrors and blind spot. They're absolutely crucial to making a lane change safely. So always, and turning safely, and pulling over safely, and moving away from the curb safely, everything. Always check your mirrors and your blind spot whenever you need to. The third thing that you can do or that you should do, I should say, is move slowly when you need to. There are times when you gotta move fast. You're driving on a main road, you're getting onto the highway, you're just driving on a road, totally understandable. You gotta drive at the safe speed, which is probably gonna be a decently fast speed. There are also times in which you have to move slowly when you're forward parking, when you're reverse parking, Okay, when you are, uh, you're forward parking, reverse parking, when you're parallel parking, uh, when you're driving in a parking lot, when you are starting to turn from a red light, let's say, like any of those, like let's say the light is red and it turns green and you have the ability to go when you're accelerating, when you're starting to do something. If you're accelerating at a green light in a straight line, you gotta probably give it some gas. But when you're accelerating at a green light to turn and the light just turned green, you're not gonna be like, ripping it around the turn. You're gonna be going slowly. So whenever you know that you need to move slowly move slowly there is much less of a chance that you'll get into an accident or a near accident or achieve a serious fault or a major fault on that test uh, when you're moving slowly because you have more time to see assess and react it's as simple as that last but not least is the fourth thing that you can do and that is to obey all road signs road signs like they don't you think they just put them there for fun ah, let's put no right no right turn on a red light here just i like it i like the way that it looks in the in the light over there okay yeah let's put a random speed sign over here let's put a slow down sign over here eh, why not sure school zone just just throw it on this corner they don't do it like that those signs are there for a reason okay so with that being said you have to obey all of the road signs they are there for your safety if a sign says no right on a red light 
Okay, there's a reason. Maybe there's lots of pedestrians crossing. Maybe the way that the turn is set up, you know, it's it's hard to see. But if you don't obey that sign, you are way more likely to get into an accident or a near accident, which will both cause a major fault, a serious fault, and a failure on your test. So obey the road signs because they're there for a reason. And that's basically it. In this video, I've told you how to avoid a serious fault on the driving test. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.